Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Jay. Uh, I'm co-founder of the RowForge app, um, and I also hold a PhD in sports science and clinical biomechanics. Um, and I also operate the website fourweeksout.com. Um, in this short episode, or let's see if it ends up being short, I have a tendency to ramble on. Um, but let's talk about uh, pacing strategies uh, for rowing different distances. And uh, for the first distance, let's talk about rowing the 2K, which is the gold standard test for your VO2 max. Um, the VO2 max test is embedded, or the 2000 meter test is embedded in the RowForge app, um, along with a bunch of different, uh, different other distances and times to provide you the complete picture of your power profile. But everything is based on what you're able to do in the 2K test. Now, a lot of people make the mistake of starting out way too hard uh, whenever they test. So unless you're testing a 100 meter or 200 meter, maybe a 300 meter, you need a pacing strategy instead of going all out from the get-go. And most people, um, they start going out way too high, uh, way above their target range. And that means that after about 500 to maybe six, seven, or 800 meter, they start to gas. And after about a thousand meter, they are starting to question why they even started this test to begin with, because they're totally wasted, totally dead. And I've been there myself, I've done that, and it's not ideal. So first of all, you need to have a target. And then you need to be able to figure out, okay, what is the pacing strategy? What do I need to do? Um, and as you can see right here, um, this is kind of a, a, an idea of how to go about it. So <clears throat> whatever I do, whenever I set out to test and I coach people to test, what I want them to do is that, first of all, we need a target. So whether it being 200 watts on average for the 2K, 250, 300, 310, whatever it is, we need a target to aim at because without a target, it's difficult to aim anything. So <clears throat> in order to be successful, we need to do a certain overshoot in the beginning. This is usually how 2000 meter tests are done. They're done with an initial pretty hard sprint to get the flywheel going on the um, on the rowing machine and then you settle very close to your target so you're a little bit ahead um, and then you have to settle in for that pace for the majority of the race so what I usually do is that I coach people to from anywhere from the first 200 to 400 meter do a little bit of an overshoot maybe 10 15%, sometimes 20%, and sometimes also only 5% over. And then from, let's say, 400 meters up until about 15 or 1600 meters, that's the coasting period. That's where you have to settle into a, to a, um, a steady state pace that is just below your target range so you don't, so you don't gas out uh, too soon. There's also a psychological component into doing this because you know that you're going to be able to maintain that pace up until the 1600 meter mark. At the 1600 meter mark, it start, it, 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 you have to start to ramp up because you, you need to, or your goal is to perform better than your last test. So you may be settling right around at 1600 meters, your average watch may be your old um, personal best let's call that 300 and you're aiming at 305 for instance, then at 1600 meters you need to start ramping up again. But again, it's not a full-blown sprint because you can't sprint for the final 200, uh, 400 meters. You have to, to steadily increase the pace. And I divide that up into either sections of 50 meters or 100 meters. So from 1600 meters to 1700 meters, I add just a couple of more watts on average um, for each pull that I do. And then from 1700 to 1800, I push it a little bit more. And then for the remaining, let's say 200, 150 to 200 meters, then it's time to begin to think about sprinting. Because a 100 meter or 150 meters will take you, maybe even a 200 meter will take you anywhere from 25 seconds to maybe 40 seconds and even if you're totally gassed out and your heart rate is way up there 
you uh, <clears throat> you should be able to maintain because you got to remember this is an all-out test and you have to leave everything uh, basically on the floor or on the rowing machine so it's not going to be more comfortable to do it this way it's just going to be a strategy for you to 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 set you up for success with this it's still gonna hurt like heck um, to uh, to complete the 2000 meter and you're probably going to roll off the rowing machine some people even throw up um, which is which are just indications of uh, of you have given everything you got and that's the idea of test because if you don't do, put everything into it in a test you cannot call it your true 2000 meter score and it's not equivalent to your true vo2 max oxygen uptake and that also means when you when the numbers are added to your uh, rowforge app they are not going to create or it's not going to create the most accurate prediction of where you should be in your power profile so again you have to uh, look at this curve, for instance, um, and see that initially there's a sprint or semi-sprint to begin with. Then there's a settle right below the, the target. And at, as we approach the end, there's a ramp up again. Distances in 1500 meters, 1000 meters, 800 meters, maybe even maybe even a five or six hundred meters can be done in a similar fashion but you have to do the math and figure out what your targets are anything below 1500 or five sorry 500 meters some will have to strategize other will be able to go uh, all out from pretty much uh, pretty much the beginning um, those are only a few because even the best of the best still take approximately one minute 15 one minute 20 uh, to complete a 500 meter and uh, most people will take more than a minute of and a half which means that you're going to enter a different energy system than the energy system that provides you energy to run a hundred uh, or to row a hundred uh, meter sprint that's how the pros do it uh, that's how we do it here at Rowforge uh, and that's how I suggest that you give it a try um, all right, leave your comments uh, below on our channel. Uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions with this. Again, this, sorry, this is not a short video. This is kind of me rambling on, but, but because there's simply so much to say about proper strategizing and rowing and all of this. I hope this was helpful. Um, see you again next time. <laughs>